Chain link A, A, negate. Chain link A, negate. All five traps activated. Let's go. Andy me on first turn kill. Let's go. There can only be one winner. And you're looking at it. Let's go. First turn kills. You love them, you hate them. Should they exist in Yu-Gi-Oh? I think as long as they're less than a 50% win rate, then it could be okay. Nightingale with the instant fusion. You want mates burning for 500 damage. We're going to special summon a jackal onto the field with the Endy Meon Servant. Electromite's going to put a monster into the extra deck, the Astrograph. We're going to activate Abductor to search our deck for a Magister. We still have our normal summon. Destroy the Abductor, grab the Astrograph, special summon onto the field, draw a card, and search for an Abductor. I believe that's what we were doing. Resolve it. Come forth and summon. Grab in the Abductor. Normal summon still here. Draw an extra card. We got the Magister, which is a scale 8. Perfect for Pendulum Summoning. The Mythical Institution. This will help us add a monster from the deck to the hand. Okay. Grabbing Magician's Soul with the Abductor. That is nuts. Right? Was that the Abductor? Yeah. Magician's Soul will allow us to draw two cards. We're going to be grabbing the Magister. And we're going to be drawing into a Spell Power Mastery. We're going to link off into a Selene. Selene... Navida, special summon a spellcaster from the hand or graveyard during either player's turn, that is. Remove three spell counters to come forth and summon the mighty master of magic. That will negate any spell or trap. We're going to send two dark pendulum monsters of the graveyard to summon the Supreme King Dragon Starving Venom. Now, this is going to copy the effect of the Lyra Lusk. Nightingale has been copied. And what did we copy? The copy has been... You can increase this card's level by the number of exceed materials that monster had. You what, mate? What, 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 what? This card gains 500 attack times its level. It's unaffected by other card effects. Once per turn, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to this card's level times 500. Well, it's balanced because it's level one. But what Konami did not know about this card is that people would copy its effect onto a bigger monster. One times 500, that's okay. One, five times eight... That's not good, mate. Burn for 4,000 damage. We're going to Pendulum Summon the Mighty Master back onto the field alongside the Astrograph, and I guess we just summon another one. Another one. Great. Copy. 4K damage. Lethal. First turn kill with Andy Meon. Normally, I've been seeing this combo being used with Pendulum Magician. You get six monsters on the field, then you go into all the plays right there, but... Here's without not needing to play Pendulum Magician. I think Andy Meon is a much better deck than Pendulum Magician. Turn one. What do we do if we don't have a first turn kill, though? Are we just a first turn kill gimmick deck? Probably not. We're going to grab a Jackal from the deck. Jackal going to destroy itself. Then summon the Mythical Beast Cerberus onto the field. Quick note. We're getting a doggy. The doggy's going to be called Cerberus. She coming soon. Pot of D. Banish 10. Draw 2. Magician Souls sending a Mighty Master from the deck to the graveyard to special summon itself onto the field. We can now Pendulum Summon. Anything from four up to eight. It's going to be four to seven. Summoning the Jackal. The Jackal will be able to negate a monster effect. So if you were to Nibiru right now, you will be negated. No Nibiru. Mighty Master summoning itself onto the field. Now this card is nuts. If you summon it turn two, it would have non-targeting destroyed pretty much the entire field. Nuts. It is going to destroy the Magician Souls. Now we're going to make an Electromite. This is quite a standard turn one for this deck. Sending an Astrograph, destroying a face of card we control. Astrograph will special summon onto the field. We'll search for an Abductor, and we will draw a card. We could then rank seven exceed here. The rank seven exceed will very likely be the Absolute Dragon, we, which we then want to send to the Graveyard to summon an Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon, the Omni Negate. Spell Power Mastery grabbing the Magister of Endymion. I don't believe we have Pendulum Summoned yet. There's the Odd Eyes Absolute. Now you want to get it into the graveyard. Send it to the graveyard to make a Cross Sheep. Cross Sheep, when we summon the Vortex Dragon, will activate to Special Summon a level 4 lower monster from the graveyard. Come forth, Magician Souls back onto the field. Now with the scale 3 to 8, we are not Pendulum Summoning yet, mate. We're going to make Selene. Selene is not a hard once per turn. You can continually use it if you keep summoning new Selenes. 
Summon a monster from the graveyard. The Mighty Master with a Spell and Trap card negate on top of our monster negate and our Omni negate. The Abductor's going to grab a Servant of Endymion, and we're passing back. Negate, 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 mate. Lightning Vortex, destroy all attack position monsters. Mighty Master of Magic will negate. We're also going to chain the Selene to summon another Spellcaster onto the field, which is going to be the other Mighty Master from the graveyard. So a Spell and Trap card negate on top of another Spell and Trap card negate. Double the negate. Returning Selene back to the extra deck. Five back row, but we have two Spell and Trap card negates plus an Omni negate. What plays five back row plus a lightning storm? That's not going to be Eldritch, right? Pendulum Show Come can only summon one monster from the extra deck plus one monster from the hand if we want to. Mighty Master. Eldritch with lightning storm. You got to be kidding me. Eldlixer is going to special summon an Eldritch from the deck, but we are going to negate. Aquero is going to summon a crappy little zombie on the field that's not going to do anything. Torrential Tribute, wipe the entire field, destroy everything. Mighty Master, negate. Chain Link 7, Chain Link 7, Chain Link 8, Chain Link 8, 8, negate. Chain Link 8, negate. All five traps activated. Let's go. Wipe it out. Let's do it. Holy moly. <laughs> negate. Pop, return, negate. No good. Summon, does nothing. Negate the Eldritch. No Eldritch, no wipe the field, no skill drain. Do not pass go, do not collect $200. Go to Eldritch jail, you fool. And then he surrenders like a salty little baby. Wow, Ricardo, you Eldritch fool. If you enjoyed that, here is the deck. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe. Here is the first turn kill Andy Meon deck that also, if you don't first turn kill, it can make other plays. That's uh, really cool to see. Thank you, Dichotomy. Very good, beautiful deck. And as I do with all these videos, I will show you what a normal Andy Meon deck looks like. So the first turn kill package being the Nightingale and the Dragon Starving Venoms. Let's check out the Andy Meon breakdown by clicking on any of the cards. Here's normally how the deck is going to be played. So normally the deck is not playing the first turn kill package. Here's another example of a version to play Andy Meon. That is it. Let's go. If you want to submit your spicy replay with your spicy deck, check the Discord link. I'm giving five bucks for every fool that I feature on YouTube. Let's do it.